Hi friends, today I will teach trigonometry elimination of theta. I will do the basics in some other video. Here I am going to concentrate on how to eliminate theta in a special sum which sounds very difficult to many students. The question here is cosec theta minus sin theta is equal to m sec theta minus cos theta is equal to n you have to eliminate theta so first let us simplify for m and n cosec theta can be written as 1 by sin theta sin theta remains sin theta n this is m so we can write 1 minus sin square theta pi sin theta is equal to m hence cos square theta by sin theta is equal to m doing the same steps for n we get sec theta is 1 by cos theta minus cos theta cos theta remains cos theta is equal to n so 1 minus cos square theta by cos theta is equal to n so sin square theta by cos theta is equal to n. Now this is the second equation that we got. From here we can go a bit farther and see that cos square theta is equal to m sin theta. Similarly here sin square theta is equal to n cos theta. We know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So if we can eliminate this sin theta and this cos theta, we will eliminate theta. But that is not possible. So if we try and see some a different means if we try multiplying these two then let us see what happens we actually are multiplying cos square theta by sin theta this is m into sin square theta by cos theta this is m into n so now this means that sin theta cos theta is equal to m n but we have only sin theta here and cos theta here so if we try and multiply cos theta on both sides then what happens in this equation we write cos square theta is equal to m sin theta now we multiply cos square theta with cos square theta we get cos square theta into cos theta is equal to m sin theta cos theta. 
so now we get cos cube theta is equal to m but sin theta and cos theta is same as m n so we can write here as m n now from here we can also write cos cube theta is equal to m square n similarly here if we multiply sin square theta with sin theta we get n cos theta sin theta but cos theta sin theta we have found out to be m n so sin cube theta is equal to n square n now cos square theta is equal to m square n to the power 2 by 3 similarly sin square theta is equal to n square m to the power 2 by 3 now if we add these two we get one hence theta is eliminated hence this is how we solve this sum